Hi, I'm Miss Thielen, the middle and high school chorus teacher here at Clyde Savannah. So just a little bit about middle school chorus. Uh, middle school chorus is for students in grades seven and eight, even though we've kind of reshuffled to a junior high, senior high, chorus and band have stuck to the middle school 7A and the high school 912 model. So middle school chorus is a full year class and we meet every other day. And we follow the New York State Learning Standards for the Arts, which is create, perform, respond, and connect. And we work to incorporate these into rehearsals and into their small group lessons. During our large group rehearsals, we rehearse our repertoire. We do listening, music analysis, music theory, and ear training. And we also carry over those skills into their weekly small group lessons. Expectations for rehearsal. Um, students will be on time, they'll be on task, and they'll be respectful. They are responsible for making sure that their folder music and a pencil is at every rehearsal. They are free to leave their folders in the auditorium if they wish, or they can bring it back and forth, but they need to make sure that their music is always with them for a rehearsal. There is no food or drink other than water allowed in the auditorium during rehearsal, and no cell phones or other personal electronics other than their Chromebooks are permitted during rehearsal. For grades, 50% of their grade is class participation and preparedness. So making sure that they have their music uh, with them and then making sure that they are singing and participating in class uh, during, you know, through singing and any other discussion or classwork that we have throughout the course of the year. 25% of their grade um, is concerts slash projects. So for two marking periods, we do not have a concert. So for those marking periods, students will be given a concert equivalent assignment, um, and that will be completed in order for them to earn the 25% of the grade for the marking period. Uh, so far, they've already done one of them for this marking period. And 25% of their grade are assessments. So at the end of every marking period, there will be a quiz given, um, and I'll give you a little more information on that in a minute. The dates for our concerts. Our first concert will be Thursday, December 16th at 7 p.m. That will be um, as concerts in the past have normally been um, the middle school chorus along with the senior high chorus. Our spring concert is Tuesday, May 10th at 7 and that concert is actually by grade level. So that will be a middle school band and chorus concert combined. Um, we're hoping to bring back the spaghetti dinner cabaret. Um, however, it was scheduled for November and we're not feeling so great about that at the moment. So we are looking to reschedule it to the spring. Sometime in May, uh, date is to be announced. Our attendance policy for concerts is that attendance is mandatory. Uh, this is a basically a large assessment um, for what the kids have been doing for you know five or so months. So it's extremely important that everyone attends the concert. Um, students are only excused for extenuating circumstances at my discretion. Students who are excused uh, will be required to complete an alternate assignment. And if the student has an unexcused absence, they cannot make up the concert and they will receive a zero for the concert. Uh, concert dress, I ask that students wear white on top and black on bottom plus black shoes. Um, if they would like to wear a tie, they can do that. The colored black, whatever. Um, white on top, black on bottom, and please make sure that it um, adheres to the school dress code. Lessons. So small group lessons are back this year, which is very exciting. So all students have been assigned to a small group and lessons are held on a six day rotating schedule so that students should only miss the same class once a month. Um, in lessons, we cover their uh, chorus music we cover music theory, we do listening, ear training, sight reading, all sorts of stuff. Um, but what's really important about lessons is that the material we cover in lessons is going to be assessed on those marking period quizzes. So if a student does not come to their lessons, they're not gonna receive that material and then they're gonna struggle on the quiz. So it's really, really important that students make every effort they can to attend at least some lessons throughout the course of the marking period. Um, I do offer makeup lessons after school and at certain times throughout the school day. Um, so students really, really need to be working hard to attend those lessons and make up any ones that they missed. 
If you need to contact me, the Google Classroom code is right there, as well as my email address, pamela.tealan at clydesavannah.org. Please reach out with any comments, questions, concerns for me. Thank you.